I'm Steve from This Week With Cars and this is my 1966 Ford Anglia. When this car could be seen in the background of my previous videos, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. So I decided today to finally do a video on it. This model is referred to as the 105E model and this is the third major body revision of the Anglia. This is a Ford product from Ford of England. For 1966, these cars actually look more like a Studebaker than they do a Ford product. And that's because the engineers at Ford in the UK actually use wind tunnels to design their cars. Another feature this car has is a sloped rear windscreen, similar to that of the one you would find on a late 50s Lincoln Continental. The marketing brochures for this car stated that the rear windscreen was sloped to keep rain and dust off the window. And those of you in the UK might be surprised to know that the original version of the Ford Anglia is hugely popular here in the United States. Americans like to take the engine out, put a big V8 in them, and turn them into drag race cars. This is a car that sat up on my shelf for a long time. I would take the car down once a year, play with it a little, make it run a little better each time. My original plan for the car was to turn it into a car that I could take to rally crosses because I thought it would look like a lot of fun playing in the dirt. But then a couple years ago, a local company that hosts Renaissance Fairs came to me and asked me if they could use my Anglia for their event. If you haven't recognized this already, a Ford Anglia, this color was used in the Harry Potter movies as the flying car. The Harry Potter crashed into the tree and the car also made an appearance in a couple other Harry Potter movies. They wanted to borrow the car just as it was, but I decided to paint the car up to look more like the car in the movie. I had a company in the UK send me number plates that matched those of the ones used in the movie. The one addition that I haven't been able to make yet is to fit the correct mirrors to this car to make them match the one in the movies. The mirrors were not available last time I looked for them. This car is powered by a 50 horsepower, one liter Kent engine. And this car is also the deluxe model. The deluxe model got you a glove box lid and sun visors. There is also a super version of the Ford Anglia as well. I put no focus to the inside of this car. I've only done upgrades to the outside of the car and only what I needed to do to make the car run. I did add this panel here where the radio used to go so that I had reliable electrics. Over here, this is the fuel pump, and then this is the ignition and the starter button. Obviously, with only 50 horsepower, this is not going to be a very fast car. One thing I do like about this car that makes it a little more reliable than other British cars is that it has a fully mechanical clutch leakage, so that's one less hydraulic thing to go wrong. You're probably not going to be breaking any speed limits in this car, but it does have enough power to get out of its own way. It's certainly much faster than the earlier versions of the Anglia. There's plenty of room inside this car, especially for tall people. Almost feels a little bit like a Mini. I can hear my fuel pump going in and out right now, so I might be running low on fuel. I hope I can make it back before I run out of gas. There is a petrol station just about a block from here. Maybe I should stop there first. One really nice thing about these cars is that there is a huge amount of aftermarket parts available. These are very popular cars to race. There is anything you can imagine to upgrade these cars and their engines. So if you don't like going slow along country lanes, there's plenty of upgrades available for these cars. I wouldn't recommend this car for people looking for a sports car, this is not it. But if you're looking for something fun to take the family to get ice cream in, this might be the car for you. And if you're not that picky, you can pick up the standard versions of this car for much cheaper than the deluxe models. Well, it looks like I made it back. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.